get where you got to go. He says, let the illegitimacy go. Let it go. Now, some of you have fathers and you still feel illegitimate. Some of you have mothers and you still feel illegitimate. God says, let the illegitimacy go. Some of you have ministries that your pastor hasn't sanctioned. Some of you have been given gifts that you have held tight because you haven't been able to be free in Christ. God says, guess what? Tonight I want you free. How can you be a part of the revolution if you're not free? You can't be because as a revolutionist, you have to lay everything down. Rahab said, guess what? I will give you our life for yours, Israel. I will give our life for yours. What can you do for me, Israel? Caleb, work with me here. I am ready to do a new thing. God is ready to do a new thing. We have been praying that you will be set free. People are praying all across the country because it is that crucial. We knew it was that crucial that you would get to the feet of Jesus, that you'd be like, Rahab, God, have mercy on me. Rahab said, I know what I've been, but I'm not going to let it get in the way of who he's calling me to be. What are you holding on to that you won't let go? You can stay illegitimate or you can come to Christ and allow him to legitimize you. You can't wait for those other people to give your ministry legitimacy. You can't wait for kids for them just to like you. You can't wait to just go to your own race of people. There are some kids who are walking the streets at night looking for someone who will care about them, who are going from bed to bed, 15-year-olds who have been with 10 men just this month. Come on. There are some kids who have to know that Jesus loves them no matter where they've been, no matter where they are, no matter where they're going or think they're going. He loves them. How will they know unless you not only tell them, but show them. You got to get close enough to smell the smells and hear the sounds and love kids the old-fashioned one, old-fashioned way, one kid at a time. With the power of Jesus and that alone will see you through. The power of Jesus will see you through. And tonight, if you don't think that it will, he said, I am ready to deliver you. I'm ready to heal you. I'm ready to give you a new strength. I'm ready to send you out in my power. Because unless you go in my power, don't go. Don't go. Don't go unless it's in his power. Some of you are running on empty. You are at the, you're at the fume stage. You are at the fume stage. He says, come, and I'll get you where you need to get to. Come, and I'll have you get healed. Come, and I'll show you what I got for you. If you came for healing, he said, guess what? It's here. Here's what I believe about Jesus. He said, I will always provide what you need if you will just be obedient. I'm going to ask you to stand with me and take your shoes off because you are standing on holy ground. Only if you want to, stand with me and take your shoes off because you're on holy ground. God wants to do something tonight. I don't even know what it is. It's not my business because I've been praying for God's waiting congregation. And I'll tell you something. Only do it if you want to. Only do it if you want to. Hey, nobody's going to say a thing. I'm going to ask you to, I've asked you to take your shoes off because it's a symbol that you want something, that you want God to reveal himself to you in his power and in his might. Will you be like Rahab? Put everything on the line because you have nothing else to lose. You have nothing else to lose. If you would come play, play uh, we're standing on holy ground, tonight is holy ground. There is healing for the taking. There is deliverance for the taking. There is love for the, there is encouragement for the taking. If you don't get what you need, it's going to be up to you. If you don't get what you came for, it's up to you and it's not over. God wants to deal with you tonight right where you are. Some of you are so caught up with being who you've always been. But I can't put my hands up. I don't do that. You do it ball games. You get excited. I can't say hallelujah. What would they think about me? I'm not Pentecostal. So what? I can't do that. I can't follow my knees because I'm not that kind of person. God says so. He wants to do something new tonight. He wants to do something new. I'm going to ask you to bow your heads. We are standing on holy ground. There are people here who will meet you up front, on the side, wherever. The very gospel is at stake. And if you don't come and get what God has for you tonight, 
not only will you miss out, the whole world will never be the same. There are going to be kids who won't know the love of Christ because you have been caught up in your own self and your own stuff. God said, press through tonight. Be like Rahab. Be bold. He said, press through. You are standing on holy ground. And they were talking about the temple. Imagine this as a temple. You are the very righteousness of Christ. He lives and abides in you. Some of you want to hold back because you're like, well, I'm fine. Everything is great. Hey, that's up to you. But God said, hey, we've seen the room. And we've seen God's power magnified. We have seen God high and lifted up. We have seen him poured out. We have seen him in you as never before. God wants to do some things tonight. Keep your heads bowed. I have no idea what God wants to do. But I'm willing to wait. If you finish before we do, tip on out. But sometimes you got to wait for your instructions so you can know how to move out. Hallelujah. But we're going to trust God. We are standing on hold. tonight because to come here was more than enough for me I'm going to trust God for what he has for you what he has for me some of you want to go play basketball just ease on out but we're going to be here till some folks get what they came for this place here you can, you can go where you want to go be where you want to be but I encourage you that before you leave tonight you tell somebody what you came for because if you tell them what you came for they will help you to know how to get it God wants to
to do a new thing and he wants to use you. You've been illegitimate too long. He says, come and claim your childship. You are a part of this family. Come and get what he has for you. We're going to bow. We're going to pray. And for those that want to leave, you can ease right on out. For those that want to stay, we're here to stay with you until you tell somebody what you came for. Because God wants you to get it tonight. Because it's not over. It is not over. Do what God has asked you to do. If he's, if he's pulling on you, you won't sleep tonight, I promise you. Let's pray. We thank you, God, that you are God all by yourself. And that tonight, someone need to be like Rahab and go for it. Somebody need to stop seeing Rahab as the one who was the harlot and see her as the one, the woman of faith, that she even made the genealogy trick. Lord, we thank you for her legacy. We thank you that she ministers to us tonight to teach us that we no longer have to be illegitimate, that we no longer have to claim those old things for ourselves, that we can be new because the Christ that's in us makes us new and makes us free. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that is holy ground. And because it's holy ground, you will make us holy because you are holy. Thank you, Lord, for your love. Thank you, Lord, for your power. Thank you for your might. Thank you for your healing. Thank you for your deliverance. Thank you for your joy. Thank you for your peace, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord. Some people are going to get what they came for. We praise you now. We worship you now. It's not just a one-time experience, but you want it to continue to completely fill us. Make us new, Lord Jesus. Make us whole, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus, in your power and in your might. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Holy Spirit. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. Have your way. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that we can enter in right where we are. We bless your name. We bless you, Lord Jesus, because you are holy. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. It won't be our, by our power. It won't be our, by our might. But it will be by what thus said the Lord. We take you at your word tonight, Lord Jesus. We take you at your word that you will do more than we expected. That you will meet us in this place. That you will teach us in your way. That you will show us your love as never before. Thank you, Lord Jesus. If you need people to pray with you, they're right here. Or they'll be at the door. Wherever you're going to need them, find what you need. But I thank you that God allowed you to be here and that he wants to use you as never before. Thank you for the privilege of speaking to you. Amen. Amen. Amen.